Hey guys, the Gardening Moose coming to you here at Garden Gateway and today I want to talk to you about growing onions. There's basically three ways to grow onions. The first way is not great for our climate and that is to direct seed them into the garden. Um, that doesn't work great. I've heard of people doing it and direct seeding them in the fall and then carrying them through the winter and uh, growing them the next year. The trouble with that is, is in that second year, they want to flower and go to seed. The second way is to uh, grow them from onion sets, and that's probably the most common way, but not necessarily the best way. Onion sets are those little baby onions that are dry and they come in a sack, and uh, you plant the little uh, set right down into the uh, garden. And it works well, people do it all the time. Um, the trouble with that is, is that little set is a first year onion plant. And once you put it into the ground and grow it, then that's considered the second growing season. And during the second growing season, onions really want to flower and go to seed at some point. And so people have to go through and break off their flowers and, and mess with that. And uh, so there's an alternative method, um, which is growing them from transplants. And this is actually very common. Um, not uh, just in the greenhouse industry, but uh, commercially this is done as well. Um, these are first year onions that we seeded in January and they have been growing for quite a while. We have trimmed them a couple of times now so that they're nice and short. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, um, we're, I'm going to show you how I would plant these. Um, you'll notice that I'm not putting these into the ground in the garden. Um, you can do that and that works extremely well. Um, but this works a lot better. I'm using a container um, and uh, using a potting soil mix, which is a nice loose soil. I mean, it's just loose. I can work it with my hands. Root crops like onions love that kind of stuff because as the bulb expands, it, they have plenty of room to grow. And so I'll just show you real quick how I do that. I'm planting candy onions here um, today. And uh, I'm just gonna pull it out of the container and I'm gonna kind of massage that root ball. Just kind of let some of that soil fall off of there. And basically all I wanna do is loosen it up so that I can come through there and pull those onions out of there one by one. You know, when you buy these in a four inch pot, you're gonna get 20 to sometimes 40 onions in a pot. And uh, they're gonna run you about three bucks and I mean, for 20 to 40 onions for three bucks, you can't beat that. So when I plant this, I'm basically gonna cover up the roots and then I'm gonna cover maybe as deep as a, a quarter inch or so. And all I'm gonna use in this potting soil is my finger. I'm just gonna dig a little hole and plant that right down in there. And I'm gonna take another one and I'm gonna space them four inches apart. And that's gonna give me nice baseball sized onions which is basically what candy wants to produce now candy is uh by far one of our favorite onions um it uh is a great sweet onion kind of like a walla walla but the difference is that walla wallas are summer onions you can grow them you can eat them they're great coming out of the garden but you can't store them you try to store them and they're just going to rot and die candies give you that sweet onion flavor but they'll store forever we have customers every year that come in in the spring and tell us the onions they planted the last year, they still have them in storage um, available to eat. And so I'm just gonna go around this pot and uh, plant them in there four inches deep. And then as you can see in this other pot that I've done here, um, I've made one circle around the outside, another one, and then just one in the middle. Um, and all I'm gonna have, I think I counted 20 some odd onions in there uh it'll be uh fantastic so uh that's my tip for the day on growing onions um we have uh onions available right now for sale they have been outside for about a month and a half now um, they don't need any kind of cover they can be planted straight into the garden or straight into your containers right now and you don't need to worry about it so come see us down at garden gateway and have a great day